Okay, this is my Sky Surfer 2000. Uh, most people who've been flying this thing have gone ahead and cut in flaps. Uh, I decided not to do that at this point. Uh, I thought I'd play with flapper on. So I've gone ahead and programmed them. Uh, I have a uh, Tyrannus radio, which is really amazingly uh, configurable. And uh, uh, basically what we've got is uh, various different... Uh, uh, setting so we've we've done flapper ons and uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show uh, what that looks like here's the normal travel for the uh, ailerons and uh, I do have rates programmed you can see elevator and uh, work in there and, and uh, let me, I'll have to put the radio down I've got one hand for the camera uh, elevator but also rudder and uh, right now I do not have uh, rudder tied into the ailerons. But again, I've got a, a 50% uh, or half flaps setting. Uh, that half flaps for flaps. Half flaps. Uh, flip past it. So you can see here is the uh, half flap setting. Um, you can see both uh, ailerons are in the down position a little bit. And we have travel. The ailerons are both able to go up. Uh, Whatever you do, you're not able to go past 100% deflection on either one. And then when we go full flaps, you'll see that there is further deflection. Uh, I've got a four-second travel time delay in there, so um, that that means that uh, when I do deploy the flaps, it doesn't come on all of a sudden. And you can see it will go up to uh, flaps up, and it's a nice slow transition from uh, there all the way down. So I'm hoping that doesn't make anything too bad. Now, uh, as far as making the plane balloon, the other thing I've programmed in with the flaps is a little bit of down elevator. So when I go full flaps, you'll see a noticeable downward deflection of, of the elevator. Uh, that's about a 20% deflection. When we go half flaps, that's about a 15%. And then uh, flaps up is, of course, uh, level. So anyway, that's all uh, that I have. The uh, uh, well, actually, there is one more thing. Um, I do have uh, rates programmed in. The rates do not impact the um, flap position. So here is, uh, a, I call my rates attenuation. So 50% um, attenuation means movement is 50% attenuated from normal. And then 70% attenuation means movements are even further decreased uh, from normal travel. And then... And now, again, travel is back restored to 100%. So the, uh, uh, my rates uh, do not impact the uh, flap travel. And likewise, the flap travel doesn't impact the rates. So that's it. That's what I've got. And I'll post it. Bye.